Hi and uh, welcome along to a series of tutorials on the ID5100 using the CS5100 cloning software. If you haven't already got a copy of the software then you can go off to the ICOM Japan website to the firmware updates and software download section scroll down to the 5100 download the cloning software and also I'd recommend you download the repeater list and settings data unzip it and place it on your desktop. The first thing we need to do is load the file that we've downloaded from ICOM. Now if we look in the digital repeater section for example you'll see that all the digital repeaters for throughout the world are pre-programmed including the UK FM uh, repeaters. But in this tutorial we're going to have a look at the memory channels and you'll see the memory channels are in banks of 100 and two frequencies uh, come pre-programmed. If we click on 3 we could add 145.5 and call that the calling channel We could add a VHF repeater VHF repeaters are duplex minus 600 put in there automatically they're 12 and a half kilohertz and they're FM narrow we call that VHF repeater we could add a UHF digital repeater Again, that's duplex minus. They're 9 megahertz for the UK. Just double click in the field to highlight. 12.5 kilohertz. And this time we're going to pick DV for digital voice. Scroll over to the right hand side. CQ, CQ, CQ is already put in there for the call sign. That's a generic call sign. And we're going to have GB7IC space space B. This is a UHF repeater and GB7IC space space G because we want to use the gateway. So we've now added a VHF simplex, a VHF duplex repeater and a UHF digital repeater. We could carry on and just make a list or we could break these down into different areas within the memory channels. Alternatively we can create ourselves some banks One called VHF repeaters, perhaps one called digital. And we can associate the memory channels with the banks. So if we go back up to the memory channels, you see that we'd put the VHF repeater in three. If we click VHF repeaters and just type three in there, we've now associated the VHF repeater bank with memory channel three and we know that we'd put a UHF uh, digital one in 4 so we've now associated that one as well. There's one other thing you will need to do um, as part of your registration for getting onto the D-Star network. Uh, you'll need to contact your local repeater keeper, digital repeater keeper, to get him to add your call sign to the list of D-Star stations. You also need to put your call sign in the software. Mine's G4TKR. And you can add a message if you wish. And we'll put in there Margate. To send the message each time you use uh, D-Star, you need to turn that to on. So we've now added a message, a call sign. We've turned it to on. We've created ourselves a UHF, a VHF and a simplex frequency in the memories and we've associated them with the banks for VHF repeaters and digital. That will get you up and going. Uh, in the next tutorial we'll start to look at the repeater section and how to add and remove repeaters within that area. Hope it's been helpful. Thanks for watching.